is a practice SAT problem. It is a calculator question. And if you look at what we are given, we're given a, a table just represents the lengths of fish measured in inches. So you see, we've, we've got the values already in order, which is kind of nice. Uh, we've got values ranging from eight up to 24 and then all the values in between. Uh, the table lists the lengths of the nearest inch of a random sample of 21 brown bullhead fish. Makes sense. Uh, so 21 total fish represented here. The outlier measurement of 24 inches is in air. So if you've done anything with measures of central tendency, some basic statistics in the past, you've probably talked about outliers, a value that's just pretty different from the rest, right? You know, these values from eight up to 16 only have eight values in between them. And then we've got another eight values from the second highest value clear up to the top. So this value just doesn't really fit with the rest of the data. Uh, so that is an outlier. Uh, it says that that is an error, right? So, so somehow this entry got messed up whenever it was typed in or whenever it was added to the list. It goes on to say of the mean, the median, and the range of the values listed, which will change the most if the 24 inch measurement is removed from the data? Okay, so let's think about this. We've got three options, mean, median, and range. So mean is just the average. So if I add up all 21 of these values and divide by 21, and then I remove this, and I add up all 20 of the remaining values and divide by 20, I am going to get a slightly smaller value. Removing this largest value from the list is, is going to cause the mean to go down a little bit, but I still have 20 other values that, that are being left within that calculation. So the mean is going to change, but it's not going to change by very much. If you think about the median, the way that you find the median of a data set is you work your way into the middle value. So if you're working your way into the middle value, you're working your way across this line, you're working your way across this line, and then you work across this line, work three in from here. This would be the median of the overall set, right? We work into the middle number. But the one thing you have to remember about median is the data has to be in order. In this case, that's already happening. So we've got a little bit of an advantage in regard to that with calculating the, med the median. Uh, what if we got rid of this 24? So if we got rid of that 24, what's going to happen? I guess I work in six, seven values from the high end. I work in six, seven values from the, the low end. I work in two more. I work in two more. I'm still looking at a median somewhere in here of 12. The, the median isn't going to really change whenever I work into the middle number. And the reason why the median is sometimes a, a useful value to consider is because the median is not greatly affected by outliers if it is affected at all. Um, so this changes a little bit. This doesn't really change at all in this case. How about the range? So the range of a data set is the high value minus the low value. If I do the range calculation with the 24 in there, 24 minus 8 gives me, what, 16? But if I remove this value and I take my new range to be this as the high value minus 8 as the low value, I get a range of 8. So which of these changes the most? It should hopefully be obvious by going through the little calculations that we just discussed that it's definitely going to be the range.